I do have serious concerns that there is a huge financial impact on the state of Arkansas. And we don't know those costs. I've seen reports given to us that the implementation of a certain portion, we are spending $450 to $500 million in federal funds to implement. But in four or five years, this state elected General Assembly is going to make those decisions on to how to sustain those things that we have implemented. That's a big, tall order. And so I think that we, uh, we owe it to the people of Arkansas to say, well, this is how much it's going to cost to implement it. This is how much it's going to cost to maintain it and to continue it. But we don't have any answers on this cost. There are no estimates given. There are nothing. There's no way to know. And uh, I want to protect education in the state of Arkansas. I want to protect our law enforcement. And I want to make sure that our roads are rightly improved. Uh, and I want to make sure there's money left at the end of the day for all the things that we need to do. Our state government provides wonderful services to the people of Arkansas. And we need to make sure that we're judicial and diligent and thoughtful as we proceed. And my bill intended for us to do that. Um, and unfortunately, not everybody agrees with me. Are you, you going to try again? Uh, yes, uh, yeah, I will definitely. And this is not a fight that I am uh, going to stop at. I believe that we have to continue speaking for the people of the state of Arkansas. There are so many polls. I won't even get into all the different polls out there from Rasmussen and from all over the place that strongly show that the people of Arkansas are highly concerned. They're opposed to what is happening. Personal matter for people. Um, they have strong relationships with their physicians, especially with their primary care physicians, and, uh, and they are very concerned about what's happening with their personal health care. It's very personal. And uh, no, this is this is what I've come here. I was sent and I was elected to do this. Well, I thought the bill was premature, basically for two reasons. One is there's a, a U.S. A, a Supreme Court case that could uh, answer all those questions and it ultimately rules that it's unconstitutional. That'd be an end to the controversy. The second thing was is Arkansas has never developed an implementation plan and there is no statute that 709 would have affected. And the end result would be that we would lose our federally funded programs that we currently have under existing law. And I didn't want to take the risk. In fact, I asked the question, what were the consequences to the providers and to the citizens? Uh, if somebody could have explained that to me in dollars and cents and what it affected, I might have voted the other way because I am directly opposed to mandates either from the state government to local government that are not funded. And I'm also opposed to the federal government trying to cram down, cram down the state's uh, mandates that they don't fund. And I'm opposed to that philosophically and would vote in that way in the future. But this bill was, was premature, as I said, and, and it, it had uh, harsh consequences for our Medicaid and Medicare recipients. And I, I, until I get an answer as to exactly what that would have done, I was going to be opposed to it. And I guess I was the swing vote, because I'm probably more conservative but, uh, in philosophy. That's the way I see it. So if uh, Senator Irvin brings it back up with some, some changes that addresses those things? Oh, yeah, I very, very well could vote for it if, if uh, the amendment was uh, inserted that uh, I think some of the testimony suggested uh, that probably could, that would be palatable, uh, although I'm not going to commit to anything right now. Well, you said this looked like a states' rights bill. Well, it is. I mean, it is. I mean, I mean the... the, the the, the three fact points that were put out in the bill is to kind of give a history or a justification for the bill. That's exactly what it says. But uh, that doesn't bother me particularly because I'm opposed to federal mandates that are unfunded. I mean, it's fine for the federal government to tell a state you need to do this, but here's the money to do it. And then, then that option would be up to the state legislatures to either accept or reject it. So, you know, I'm not totally opposed to the, 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 the sentiments of the bill, but uh, the, the effect of it is what I was more concerned about, what, what it would do to us and our citizens right now at this time.